going to be reacting to the other new episode of The Lab House, Brave the Last Dance. Hope you enjoy. Okay, they're doing the uh, arts and crafts or whatever. Oops, sorry, Emma. No worries, Clyde. <sighs> Okay, dance committee. Let's recap everyone's duties for the big Valentine shindig. Miss Chloe, how are those tunes coming? Great. I convinced my sister to DJ for us. This is her playing Sunset Canyon's winter formal. Ooh, she she has, what is she like? A year, Good job, two years Chloe. old. Okay, now Emma, honey, how are we doing with the decorations? Great. Riker has been helping me with the glitter. <laughs> It's basically going to be a sparkle explosion. <laughs> Clyde! Clyde Sugar, have you decided what you're going to fix for the dessert table? Huh? Oh, all right. Dessert table. I thought I'd keep it simple but elegant. I've prepared samples. Anyone want to try? No, I, do, I, do. I do, I do. Here you go, Emma. <sighs> okay, my little cherubs, I'll see y'all Friday to set up for the big night. Don't forget your dancing shoes. <laughs> Ask Emma to the dance. Ask Emma to the dance. Huh. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you want to ask Emma to the dance, huh? Yeah. You can read my mind. Do with it. Nah, it's just kind of obvious. So what's the holdup? I'm worried she might say no. I'd be heartbroken and humiliated. I can't ask without being 100% sure she likes me. Relax. Let me go find out if she digs you. Uh, no offense, but you be super obvious about it. There's got to be a discreet way to find out if she likes me, right? For sure. And we can totally help. Bye. See you, Chloe. Okay, it's go time. What's the plan, Rust Man? Uh, 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 I smell like piney beef jerky. Sweet, right? My older cousin told me if a girl comments on your clone, it means she likes you. Well, your cousin did have a girlfriend at summer camp, so... Whoa! Oh, Clyde, I didn't know you wore cologne. Yeah, um, it's like a rustic cedar with beefy undertones. Cool. Boom, she totally likes you, man. She did oh, I can't notice believe the glow, that worked. But maybe she's just a super smeller like my cats with tuna. Sorry, but I just need more evidence. <laughs> <laughs> it's as easy as rhubarb pie. You just gotta save that seat next to you. If Emma takes it, she's sweet on you like honey on a biscuit. Wait, how do you know this stuff? Because oh, that's how Clucky and Yoko Ono got together. Clucky was smitten with Yoko from the moment he laid eyes on her. So we made a special spot next to him in the coop. And she took it. Well, if it worked for Clucky. <gasps> She's coming over. Quick, quick. Play it cool. <gasps> hey, Clyde. Is that seat free? Yes. Yes, it is. All yours. <laughs> oh, thanks, Clyde. Cluck, cluck. Looks like Emma's smitten, too. <laughs> Again, I can't believe that works. Wait, that was the only seat left. I need more proof. Seriously? Aren't we a little young to be reading Sixteen and a Half magazine? I borrowed it from Lori. According to this article, the best way to find out if someone likes you is by asking to borrow a pen. If the person gives you a fancy pen, like a light-up or pom-pom one, they like you. If they lend you a normal pen, you're just friends. And if they give you a pencil, they don't like you at all. Seriously? <laughs> Let's do this! Hi, Emma. I seem to have lost my pen. Do you have one I can borrow? Sure. Let me just grab my case. Here, you can borrow this one. <laughs> Whoa! Light up and Paul! Are you effing oh, kidding like me? You're golden, buddy. Are you gonna ask Emma to the dance now? I don't know. It's a really fancy pen, but what if it was just the first one she saw? The oh, dance is Clyde. Come on, dude. I'm still worried what she might F, say no. Man. I just wish I could see the future. Actually, thanks to my granny, I might be able to help. Your granny taught you how to read tea leaves? Yep. She's the master. She saw an oak tree in her oolong tea and predicted we'd move to royal woods. Cup, please. Well, what do you see? I see a meatball 
all sub. That's not a sub. It's Clyde. At the Valentine's dance. It kind of looks like you're wearing a chef's outfit. Hmm. That's odd. But I do own one. What else? You're happy, and you're dancing with someone. <gasps> a girl with brown hair. It's Emma! Yeah! Wait, it could be now any girl with pastor? brown hair. Heck yeah! And I came up with a plan based on one of my favorite movies, El Bolo Finale. But I'll need your help to pull it off. Do we get to dress up like zombies? Not quite. <gasps> huh? <laughs> huh? Oh my god, dude. Stella can see the future in a way. Well, she said that Clyde would be dancing with someone, a girl with brown hair. It could be anybody. I would love nothing on. Dad, why are you watching this? Please turn it off. Uh, not that one. I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I thought Il Balo Finale was one of your favorites. It was until today. <laughs> the cats were glaring at them. Hey, buddy. I really hope you're coming to the dance. Where are you at, dog? You're missing all the fun. Principal Huggin' TP just fell in the pinch bowl. <sighs> Autocorrect toupee. His toupee just fell in the punch bowl. <laughs> hey, sweetie. It's Cheryl calling. I know you don't want to talk to anyone from school, but she said it was urgent. <sighs> Hi, Cheryl. Sorry to bug you, sugar bun. I know you resigned from the dance committee, but we have got a 911. The baby delivered the oh. rock cake. I'm real happy for the little mom, but we cannot serve baby shower cake at a Valentine's dance. Is there any way you can come fix it? I'm sorry, Cheryl, but no. Please? You're the only one who can get us out of this pickle. <sighs> Oh, that little sister. <laughs> it's me, Clyde. Ooh, I love the stash. It's like a little caterpillar died on your face. What? Can you fix it? Yeah, congrats on your twins, easy, Tammy and Kay. I think that's her, the one we're in the. I think it's a barrette. Uh, go ahead. I don't, You're probably just I don't gonna know tease me about my called. favorite rejection, right? Tease you? No way! I wanted to tell you that your dance proposal was really sweet. It must have taken so much courage to put yourself out there like that. Oh, thanks. And that Italian cassata cake you asked her out with looked amazing. You could totally be a contestant on Operation Dessert Storm. That's my favorite show. Mine too. So, who ended up being your date? Oh, no date. I just came with my friends. Well, I should head back to the dance. Have a nice night, Clyde. Ask her to dance. Ask her to dance. <sighs> Chloe, wait! I know the dance is almost over, but would you like to dance with me? Yeah, that sounds fun. I love this song. Me too. After you. 
Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a nice day.